Hello there, this is Father Ken Lau, and welcome to the new episode of Living with a Saint series. As I've uh, mentioned before, the first four saints that I will be uh, sharing with you are the saints that, I've, uh, that, uh, that I got to know when I went to, on a pilgrimage to Poland. Okay, so uh, last week uh, I talked about uh, Saint Maximilian Kolbe, and this week I will be talking about Saint John Paul II. Okay. And St. John Paul II was the pope that I, um, that I knew when I was like, growing up in, in, in the Philippines. He came to the Philippines in 1981, but uh, I was still so young then, so I didn't know about uh, uh, that trip. Uh, but he came back to the Philippines in 1995 for World Youth Day. And I remember going to that World Youth Day with my other brothers and sisters in the charismatic community that I was part of. And there were five million uh, people who went to his closing mass uh, for that World Youth Day. And I remember seeing him from afar, and I started to cry. I don't know, there was, there, there, there's a, a special anointing on this Pope. Uh, I, I could really just, I could really sense his, his holiness, okay? And uh, so what are the things that we could learn from uh, St. John Paul II? The first one is uh, his great devotion to Mary, okay? And uh, his papal motto is totus tuus, Maria, okay? Totally yours, Mary. And uh, so he has a great devotion to, um, to, Saint John, uh, to, to Mary, and it's through the book, uh, uh, Through Devotion to Mary by St. Louis de Montfort, okay? So if you want to read that, that's a very good book to read. Um, another thing that we could learn from St. John Paul II is the theology of the body, that uh, this is our, the, the uh, lectures, the 129 lectures that he gave in his uh, Wednesday audience uh, at St. Peter's Square there from September 5 to uh, 1979 to uh, November 28, 1984. So this theology of the body he was saying that, you know, there's, there's, there's an adequate anthropology, you know, that through our human body, um, God will be God will be revealed. You know, we'll be able to know God through our human body. So, um, also George Weigel, the author of his autobiography called uh, "Witness to Hope," I, I, I highly encourage you to read that book. He said that uh, the theology of the body is a theological time bomb, um, theological time bomb that will expo explode during the third millennium, which is our millennium. Uh, at this time, okay. So uh, I highly encourage you to to learn more about the theology of the body, and uh, I recommend you reading the book "Theology of the Body for Beginners" by Christopher West. So that's a very good introductory book on getting to know the theology of the body of Saint John Paul II. The third thing that we could learn from uh, Saint John Paul II is uh, uh, his his great devotion to. To, to the divine mercy, okay? So he was the one um, who canonized uh, St. Faustina uh, in, in, in year 2000, okay? And he wants St. Faustina to be the saint of the new millennium, okay? And uh, so he promoted the, the, the divine mercy through the diary of St. Faustina, and um, he was the one who uh, established the Divine Mercy Sunday, which is the second Sunday after Easter. And uh, that's why it was very fitting that he died on the eve of Divine Mercy Sunday in year 2005 on April 2, okay? So um, I consider myself a, a part of the JP2 generation and I attribute to him uh, my, my calling to the priesthood, okay? So uh, I, I really want you to, to get to know St. John Paul II. His feast day is October 22. And because he, he contributed a lot to, uh, to the Catholic Church uh, because of his philosophy and his theology, uh, that's why they're considering adding uh, the term the great uh, after his name. So hopefully someday he's going to be called St. John Paul II, the great. Okay? Be a living saint. Jesus, Mary, Joseph, we trust in you. Mm -hmm.